Okie dokie. Oh, I don't know, no, 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 if this microphone is on, cause I forgot how to use it. What's up, fam? Uh, quick message for you this morning. I just found a writing that I wrote September 15th, 2023. Um, I was searching through some of my old writings and I found this and it's just something that's so powerful. It's been a really powerful, uh, honestly, I'll call, it a, I'll call it a skill because it is something that you develop and you can get really good at. Um, but it is a really tough thing for a lot of people as well. And I haven't mastered this skill. I still, I still struggle with some of the, the other side of this. Um, and this can be a really tough thing for a lot of people because we've been through tough things, things have happened to us. Uh, this topic is conscious forgiveness, just forgiveness, um, forgiving other people, forgiving ourselves. Uh, this is, I truly believe, such a key to increase levels of freedom. I know it is. I've experienced it. When we house unforgiveness and bitterness and resentment towards other people, Number one, it has negative physical impacts on our body. It's holding up, we're holding on to stress. We're holding on to negative energy. The mind and the body are absolutely one and connected. Um, so also it's having negative impacts on our mind. Unforgiveness, bitterness, and resentment is literally like a cage that we're in that we have, we have the key around our neck at all times. The key is forgiveness. We can unlock the cage and step out into more freedom, freedom from the bitterness and resentment and the the unforgiveness or not, or we can stay caged. But at any moment, in every single circumstance, your resentment, our resentment towards other people, our unforgiveness, our bitterness, the negative feelings that we hold on to towards other people, they're hurting us more than they're hurting the other person. So with forgiveness, it's like, Bro, let's forgive for ourselves to set ourselves free. Like in any, in any, and I have compassion when I say this. Like I have things that have happened to me that it was so, so, so hard to for, forgive and let go and and let go of the bitterness and the resentment towards the other person. And there's some things that people have been through that I know are so much worse than anything that I've ever been through with another person. Um, so I know this is a sensitive topic and I know it's it's a tough thing but we're talking about for you for for ourselves let's forgive because holding on to these negative emotions towards other people is doing us no good it's it's harming us physically and mentally um, and I want to read a little bit of uh, some of the writing that I wrote around this um, right around this time last year forgiveness can be a difficult thing most of us even when we try to forgive we still have that feeling of hurt or disappointment. Even when you say, okay, I forgive that person, you still feel the feelings. That's normal. Even though it might be good for you to forgive someone, the mind might not be ready to forget or to let go. In fact, sometimes saying I forgive you to someone still leaves you with a feeling that something happened between you and that person and that that person might still be guilty. So it's like subconsciously when I'm saying I forgive you, I'm then stating that there's something that I need to forgive you for. Um, I forget where I heard this, but this is something that's been really powerful is instead of just saying, I forgive you saying, I'm sorry, this happened between us and I forgive us. I forgive this. I forgive you. And you can include that into the, I forgive you statement, right? I'm sorry. This happened to us. Um, I'm sorry. This happened for us. Uh, a similar way of saying that. Saying, when you say it like that, I'm sorry this happened for us. I'm sorry this happened to us between that person. Um, I forgive. I let go of this. It, it allows you to accept and let go of that situation com more completely and with an increased sense of peace. Um, it removes blame that you still hold the person and it doesn't leave you with a false sense of like superiority over the person. Because in reality, if you were born as that person who, who harmed you, like you'd we would be them. Um, and you don't want to have any sort of, even after forgiving someone, some sort of like superiority complex over that person just because they harmed you. Um, and I, this is such a tough, sensitive topic, but um, yes. So 
Anyways, things like resentment, disappointment, bitterness, they literally torment our mind. They allow our mind to be tormented and they prevent us from living in the fullness of life. They make us more negative and they, they prevent us from seeing things from a positive perspective. And if perspective is literally everything, if, if my perspective is my reality, and there's things that I'm holding on to that are preventing me from having a positive perspective, therefore a positive reality, man, do it for yourself, forgive for you. As we engage in this process of forgiving, moving on, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, just consciously over time, as we, because this is a process, it's not just a one-time thing, but as we move through this journey of healing, letting go of things, forgiving people, forgiving ourselves for things, excuse me, I need some, I'm almost out. We have no coffee today because Hank drank all the coffee, but that's okay. We got pine needle tea. Pine needle tea and honey is actually divine. Uh, yeah, as we move through that process, as we move down uh, and through that journey, our brain begins to rewire itself and our physical body as well as our mind literally become healthier and begin to flourish and our entire life, the way we see things begins to change because we're letting go of resentment. We're throwing the resentment, we're throwing the bitterness, we're throwing these negative things out into the trash and we're moving forward. We're those are weeds in the garden of, of who you are. We're pulling out the weeds and we're throwing them away and we're planting, we're creating space to plant more seeds of freedom, positivity, mercy, compassion, kindness, love, all those types of things. Um, anyways, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I just want to share my thoughts on that topic of forgiveness. Yes, I know it's a, it's a challenging thing. Some of you guys have been through some things, been impacted by people in really negative ways that I can't even imagine. And, um, it's not about them. Forgive for you so that you can live in increased levels of freedom and, uh, and peace and let go. It's not worth it. Your resentment, any resentment that we have that we're holding on to, um, bitterness that we're holding on to towards someone else is harming us more than it's harming the other person. Um, forgiveness, man, it's a key to freedom. It's a hard thing. Uh, but we've all been forgiven for many things, so let us forgive others in that same way. Um, the way we've been freely forgiven, let us freely forgive other people. And how much, how powerful of a skill is that to develop? To just be able to, to just be unmovable, to not be moved by the actions or the words of other people. To get to a point where we're just so good at forgiveness that it instantly, when something happens, we can just be like, okay, I forgive you have compassion with, with people and move forward, not let things affect us. Like how, how immovable is that person who has mastered the skill of forgiveness? How immovable is that person? That person is like a rock. Um, they can't be swayed by my actions, by your actions or our words. That's a powerful person. And that person's living and maintaining a really high quality of life because they've mastered and they're really good at this skill of forgiveness. When somebody does something little to them, immediately they forgive them and, and they just move on, let go. Um, that's a powerful person, man. And that's, that's the goal that I have for myself. That's the skill that I want to master. I want to be so good. I want to be immovable as a man by the words, the actions of others. Um, anything that anyone does to me, I don't want to be I don't want to be capable of being moved by other people. Um, and of course, there'll be times where some, when somebody, the more you love someone, the more you're impacted by their actions and their words. So there is that, but it's a skill, man. Um, I hope that this message found you well. If it didn't, I hope you're well now. Go outside, go do something positive. Uh, turn your day around if you're not. Anyways, seize the freaking day. We don't get today back. I love you. Subscribe for more videos. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Uh, help me grow this channel. And uh, yeah.
stay tuned for more. Much love.